Let me show you how you can install a WordPress site on a BPS. And for this case, I'm going to use server avatar as the BPS manager. Plus I have installed a Holsinger BPS on this. So let me show you how to do it right now. What's up SaaS masters. I'm going to show you how to install a WordPress site on this BPS manager. It's called server avatar and it's the latest version as of this video. And I already installed a Hostinger KBM 2 BPS. So if I jump into this section, I have all the options to install applications, databases, firewall, etc. If you haven't watched my video on how to install a BPS into server avatar, first watch that video link will be provided in the description. Now, before I show you how to create an application of a WordPress site on a BPS, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. And basically they have a great deal for BPS plans. Plus there's an extra discount coupon code that I want to show you. Now to grab it, go into the link in the description, jump into hosting BPS hosting and check out their BPS plans. All these plans come with a unique IP address. So let me go ahead and grab this for demo purposes. It's $6.99 a month, which is basically a good deal. And once you're here, you're going to select the amount of months that you want to pay in advance. I recommend paying 24 months. You lock in the lowest price, plus the renewal price is also lower. Now, if you go down here, the price right now, it's $167. But if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master, you apply it and it's going to drop to $150 with 98 cents. So use that coupon code. Now to install a WordPress site here, once you install the BPS, all you have to do is jump into applications and in applications, what we're going to do is create a new one. Okay, here we go. And we're going to name this application and I'll just say hosting or test. I can use my primary domain or I can use my test domain. So I don't have to connect my domain yet, but yes, it's a good option. Okay. Now I'll use the test domain for now. And I'm going to name this test domain. I'll just say test hosting here. And then you have three options. Select a method by default. It's a PHP type of site, but in this case, we want to install a WordPress site. So I'll click on one click. I have the option for WordPress selected, and then I'll name this test site username. I'll name it admin, my email, password. I'll just use test and I'm going to install this on a current server. Now, if you have several servers installed, you have the options there. Database name again, I'll just name it whatever I want. I'll say test test and then I have the advanced options. Create a new one or choose from existing. It's going to generate a database. So in this case, that's the name for the database and the password. And then I have the option to select the PHP version. I recommend that you choose the latest one, but that's only if you are using the latest version of everything that you're going to install. So if you're using a WordPress site that has everything updated, like plugins, themes, etc., go for 8.2. Okay. Then custom web group, leave it as it is, unless you have to do this for some particular reason. Okay. Once that's done, go ahead and create the application. And it's going to start it. It's going to start doing it for us. Now, in this case, when you install a WordPress site, it's going to automatically create all the files in the file manager, and it's also going to create the database for us. If this was a PHP site, we would have to manually create the database, but not in this case. There we go. The application has been installed. Here is the link to that site. Remember, this is hosted on our Hostinger BPS. Now, if I want to go ahead and check it out, let's go jump over there. Here we go. Here's the site. Let's go into the admin area. So WP dash admin and remember it's admin. It's test test. That's the made up password and boom, I'm in. I now have a WordPress site. Now, if you wanted to connect your domain for the WordPress site, you need to point your domain DNS to this IP address. Where is it? Here it is. Here's the IP address. How would you do that on Hostinger? Well, on Hostinger, go into your panel. Here it is. Go into your domain. Oh, here's the domains. I'll use this one, ltd.shop. I'll manage it. And then manage, you're going to DNS name server. So what you want to connect is the A record with the IP address. Make sure it's not created already. So right now there's no A record. And the A record is going to be connected to the IP. This IP is our BPS IP. It's going to be the default domain. I'm going to add the record. There we go. DNS record created. And now I can connect this main domain LTD. I'll grab this domain and then I'm going to go to install a new application. So let's go back to applications and I'm going to add a new one. And since I now have my domain pointed to the IP address, I can use this as my primary domain. So I don't have to use a test domain. I can use my primary one. That's just to show you how to do it in that case. 
Now, once you have your WordPress site installed, go back into our applications. Here we go, apps. We have the application. I can go ahead and open this up right here. And you're going to have all the details that you need for this WordPress site. So if you need to jump into the file manager, you have it here. Here you go. Here's a file manager. Go to public underscore HTML and you have all your files right there. SSL certificate, fail to ban, PHP settings. If you need to change it for some particular reason, supervisor in case you need help, site clone and troubleshoot. So all the settings right here for a WordPress site. But there you go. That's how you're going to install a WordPress site on server avatars of BPS manager. Well, that's a wrap for this video.